What's going on guys? It's Dr. Figure. I'm here with my first ever schedule one video. Um, I wanted to start it off with how to make an automated uh, math lab. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the process that I went through to get it automated. It's not fully automated. There's a couple things that you're gonna have to do, um, but for the most part, it's pretty automated. So what you're gonna need, um, you're gonna have to have quite a bit of money. I'm not gonna lie. Um, just keep dealing, save up, but you will need eight mixers. You will need eight racks, two chem stations and two lab station storage. Like I divvy it up. So my phosphorus is on this rack, pseudo is on this rack, acid on this rack. And then I put baggies behind there. Pretty much all my storage is on the corners. And then this is this. Um, you will need pretty much three chemists, two handlers. Um, they did patch the motel, but um, luckily for me, um, you know, these guys are still at the motel. Like if they're already, if you guys already have them at the motel already and they're at the bungalow, you're good. They're gonna keep staying here. Um, but if you have to, what I would do, what I ended up having to do, cause for some reason two of my chemists got taken away at the motel. So I had to put two beds here. Um, you could probably put, you don't even need the packing station. I feel like here you could figure it out. You probably put the packing station there, but you can figure out how to basically fit like three more beds in this area. Cause as long as this is like freed up, you're pretty much good. What we are selling. So right now I, I am naming my own stuff. So, uh, it's called just chill guy. Yeah, because we're just a chill guy, you know what I mean? Um, before that, we were selling... Diddy's baby oil was our current thing, uh, but I messed with the recipe up. If you guys go on Google and you type in schedule one calculator, um, but there's like all these mixes. So, you know, I typed in, you know, math. I'm saying math, so it just doesn't get, you know, uh, completely wrecked. And then I looked up highest cell, and then you can filter it to... Um, like, see, this one's like 16 substances, but it's only 363 in cell. I just didn't really like see a point in that. So you can filter it by how many, and I did eight. And this is basically it right here. There's this uh, Babat. I just changed the name, but it'll sell for 343. And then I do a 40% markup, which equals out to $480. And then they will want to buy it for around 615 to like 580. Um, with your shelves, what you want to do is these handlers are going to grab an order. So like Jesse, I have him, you know, grabbing from the first shelf to the second shelf to the third shelf. He's just putting it in, you know, so he's putting first shelf into this second shelf into the second one, third shelf into the third one. And then he, I have him to where he packs. So like, this is where like the other part of the automation isn't like, it's not fully automated. But once like, um, you know, they get done to the final process, as long as I have, so this is why I have this shelf actually here. Now I remember. So he'll put the product, you know, over here. And I pretty much take this, put it over here. I grab bags, put it over here. He'll come pack. And then he places the final product in the bed section over here like these are basically for finished product both these shelves and he puts them in both on um, the other handler he handles like the rest of you know everything else so like he'll grab the third put it in the third fourth and the fourth i tried doing it with less machines and having it go in a counterclockwise thing but what ended up happening was like certain times they would cut each other off and then they were basically making like their own new recipes so this is why i did eight um i just found it easier it's able to fit them all in here and it's consistent where I get the same product every time. The game is a little bugged right now. So if you look at this character, like she's just stuck. I don't know why she's stuck, but I have to save my game, quit out. And then we just basically come back into the game, but then she'll like actually start moving around again. I don't know why they get stuck. That's like a glitch, I think, or like a bug in the game. Um, I don't know if the dev ever sees my video, but that is a bug. If you can get that fixed, that would be great. Chemists, obviously the chemists, you know, they're each assigned, you know, chem table and a lab oven. If you look on here, so I guess this is a part I do need to explain with the chemists. So like three chemists, they're going to be the ones that are going to take the product and move it to the next one. So or 
there's bowl cut. So bowl cut over here, he's fucking taken from this one to this one, and then this one to this one. And then the other one that is dark haired, she takes this to this, to this, to this. And then the last one, this old fuck, I don't know where he went. He's out here, he finishes it up. And then and that's where the handlers take the product, move it over here and so forth and so forth. Um, you wanna try to keep, so I use like delivery trucks. I try to, you know, keep everything stocked up as best as I can. I also took a snapshot of the, like a screenshot of like the recipe I'm using in case I ever did forget. One thing to mention uh, that I think I forgot guys uh, in the automated math lab. So you will have to, the two things you will not automate is putting this over here. Like you're gonna put bags in the product over here so you can put it over here. And then you will have to keep an eye on stocking the chemistry labs. That is really it. And then pretty much they handle the rest. And you always wanna sell at night guys. And you pretty much, you know, right now we're in the selling phase and I can, oh, I gotta grab product. Duh. I'll grab the product and we just go sell. And I've roughly been getting about 300 to 500 XP doing this method. You know, it sells for 580. It's pretty good. Depending on your skill checks, you know, I hit my skill check, I get my product back, and over time I just build product, I go hand them out to the dealers, they sell them, vice versa. Um, so that's kind of my automated, not automated way of doing this, guys. It's the, the easiest way I've found to at least, you know, make it a little more streamlined. You know, he's gonna basically finish it up here. This is your final product, basically. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is where you'll get your final product. But yeah, guys, that's it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video and a little bit of a tip for the automated math lab. Um, if you guys did enjoy it, you know, please like and subscribe. Uh, follow me for more Schedule One content.